Hi guys, welcome back to Modern Builds HD. We are going to be continuing our suburban house tutorial. I'm really proud of what this thing's looking like, and I just want to say sorry for having like a little break recently on the whole project. Project came to a halt. Uh, I kind of had a few like days off YouTube. Me, uh, my friends that also do YouTube sometimes do it. I mean, uploading every day for like almost a year now to two YouTube channels is very very difficult so like it's nice just to take a day off and just not upload so that's pretty much what I did but I think I'm gonna have a few days of good uploads consistent maybe two a day today I'm not sure but anyways I'm gonna be building the exterior look now I was talking to one of my friends Iabin who you may have seen in the comments uh, and he reckons I should do the interior uh, his comment got a few likes I believe so we're gonna be doing the interior for this build uh, because you guys want it so I'm gonna do it for you so what I'm doing now is we're having like this little patio sort of thing going around the whole build and we're gonna put like flower pots on it like and it's just gonna look pretty cool uh, we're also gonna be doing like the driveway uh, and a few other like little things like that whoops And if you're wondering why I've got a bow out, there was like a cow invasion. Like I had like 25 pigs around here that I had to go kill today, which was like really annoying. But yeah, pretty much the cows have been invading and I've had to kill loads of them. So if you're wondering why I have a bow out in creative mode, that's why. Whoa, okay, come on. And also I've had quite a few requests and uh, my friends have really been wondering how I did this, but uh, my FPS, as you well know, is much better now. I mean, I'm running shaders at the moment at 30 frames per second, Fraps is telling me. So that is just absolutely amazing for me anyway. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to improve your FPS in Minecraft. I don't know if it's gonna be today, but whenever I get around to doing it, I will do because I know a hell of a lot of people who have to play Minecraft on low settings and this is just really gonna help them out. And surprisingly, I'm like one of the only people that know how to do it as well, so it's quite strange. So actually, I'm gonna leave it here because we've got the string here and I think the garden won't really need that much. So we're just gonna keep that like that. And hmm, yeah, I think that's cool. We're gonna keep it like that. And we're just gonna go continue this on, on the other side. Like this. and then just continue this on exactly the same. So it's gonna pretty much look exactly the same on each side, but of course it won't be because we're having like different stuff on each side. Uh, like this. Let's just quickly get this done. How did I do this? Oh, right, okay. Okay, guys, so the road is finished and it's actually looking really nice. Quite difficult to get the curves and everything of the road, but you know what? It works, so we're gonna keep it. Now, what we need to do is make a gate. So, what I've been thinking is build this up like this, then we put a quartzy, quartzy quartz slab, 
and then we go back from this and then back like that does that work yes it does and then maybe we can get some sand sandstone sandstone maybe let's try this go up like that up like this it's a weird combination I know but if I could get this to work it may look just awesome now we're gonna choose uh, never stairs or just normal stairs because I'm not sure because you know what these look really nice but in shaders and mr. meeps they look even worse than Rudo's for this build they look amazing but for this build mm, not sure yeah I think we're gonna just go with normal fences because they don't look too bright and they kind of fit in with the house so yeah let's try that whoops Now it works, but I'm not sure. Maybe we're going to use sandstone for this. Let's try it with all of this. Yeah, I reckon sandstone definitely works well. Maybe we can put the sandstone all the way across. Because, you know, that could look better. I like the fences but they look a little bit too light and if you put them like one taller then it looks too tall because you definitely want to see the house you don't want to just see fences when you're building because if you have a house that just has fences in front of it you're not going to see the house you're just going to see the fences which you know it kind of sucks so whoops mouse is being very mean to me at the moment has to be said So like that, and then maybe a gap, like that, mm, not sure. This is a very experimental build, guys, so if, you, um, if you're like wondering like why the hell it looks like that, and then I go change it all the time, that's why, because I changed my build to like loads. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that, it works, it looks nice. We may change it, but you know, just for now, it is good, good to go. And we're just gonna go put some stone slabs around the outside of this because we're gonna have like a little front garden out here and then just like shape this around so yeah so we can shape this like that and then come back from another two because we got to get this in line you know otherwise it won't work and people get offended when stuff isn't in line because trust me I know the amount of comments I've had before where I've built stuff that are out of line and stuff is just absolutely insane so you know I'm gonna want to make this in line for you guys then we're gonna go use these new leaves because I've been talking them to other builders and I've seen some people like for example Thunder I've reviewed one of his things on this channel um, but these new like leaf thingies like dead leaves after autumn uh, they match the house and they also just look great so we're going to be using quite a few of these so let's just randomly so it looks natural go just place a few holes in the ground and where them holes are we're going to go place some of this stuff in there and it should make it look really awesome and colorful So yeah, this is on Flow's HD if any of you are wondering and I know default still looks good but I think in Flow's HD these just look absolutely great. I mean, yeah, definitely. And because, you know, it looks like that, we do need to add some depth. So now what you're going to want to do is just, you know, randomly go around in places which just look too flat, like for example here, uh, and just dig a hole of like two. And then place one of these thingies down here. Then also put like put them on top of ground. But I'm not sure about how it looks. No, it can stay. It's good enough. It's just the dirt texture part of this build isn't fantastic. So let's have a look at that. Very nice. 
Hi guys, welcome back. You will notice a few things have changed. Unfortunately, Fraps just went all weird on me and actually didn't record what I wanted it to record. <laughs> pretty convenient. But pretty much what we've done is we've added some more of these leaves just around, just to give it a nice sort of like little texture. Uh, we've also added one of these new samplings, which are really beautiful. Love this sort of Japanese style tree. And we've also added this on the other side because this is where the wall is going to be, obviously, for when we build a next suburban house. Because I reckon I'm just going to do a load of world downloads for PMC, you know, to level me up because they just get so many downloads. Literally, suburban houses, they're the way forward. And you guys seem to just love them, so I'm going to definitely be doing some more of these. So we're just going to place this all the way along here, just sort of like the borderline wall, like so, and it is looking really beautiful. Then we're going to get some jungle leaves and just over here just make some little bushes, <laughs> like that, and we're just going to add like another one here. Yeah, sorry about the derpiness of some of these bushes. It's just, you know, Ruda plays. It is still in beta, but, you know, it's understandable. I mean, they spend so much time on what they make, and it's just insane. Then we're going to get a hooper hopper, and we're just going to go place this here, because, you know, it's like a bird bath sort of thing. Uh, we're going to get fences. You know what? We're going to use never fences, because we haven't used them yet. Then... Mm, get a beacon and I just had like a load of cool ideas so we should be building this thing pretty fast now uh, let's go for here just put this tree up put a beacon on the top like so and then you know what we can get some black carpet because this may actually be quite hard to place because sometimes it is a bit harsh yeah I kind of expected that so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build that like this and then just place it across. But you know, it all works. That's just to add like a little bit of colour and I mean how beautiful do these look in Mr. Meeps? Or Rudos, I'm actually not sure what texture I'm using here. Not texture, shaders. Yeah, we're using Rudos, so Rudos is just amazing, I love it. Then these kind of look like bushes too, but unfortunately they don't have the side. So they are just like dirt slash bush. Then we're just going to get some of these sunflower pot thingies. And just, you know, place a few around. Because this is like a suburban house that I guess you could base in America. And it's like an old sort of old people's sort of suburban house. So it looks really colourful, they've got like a really nice garden and everything just kind of looks natural. Little orchard, you know what, I think we could make these work as well. So you're just going to go around randomly and just go place all of these and we're going to change the time to 3000 because it sort of suits the time of this build. Then get some dandelions and just go place them around as well. And what this will do is it will add more texture to the front little garden here. It will also make everything look really colourful and nice looking. Did I get two of these things? Yes, I did. That was kind of strange. Yeah, so you're going to want to get that. Then we can just get a little tripwire hook, because I just had a little idea here. A tripwire hook. Get some yellow, you know what, we're going to use some yellow stained clay because it sort of suits the themes. And although I don't like using these too much because they lag out worlds and item frames aren't good. Just saying guys, because I built a huge city with my friend. Like, huge, modern, massively detailed city. But because we use so many signs in it, the whole world is just like really laggy in it. So we have to like cut down on sign usage on this world. So you're all just going to want to put a cobweb inside there and then put a tripwire hook and what that will be is that is a garden hose like so you know what get some pressure plates as well not the iron ones because they kind of look a bit too shiny and in your face and we're gonna have these 
across here because they emit a little bit of light and they kind of look like uh, sort of like a rug outside I guess then we're gonna get some flower pots like this and what I reckon we're gonna go for purple so we're gonna use this little flower I don't know how to say that but <laughs> we're gonna use it and we're gonna have flower pot here flower pot here and we're gonna put the purple flower inside here and the blue orchard just here like so and let's see how much more colorful does that look wow that looks amazing you know what I think this because at night time in shaders I know some of you will be using shaders but the majority of you won't because Minecraft is becoming harder and harder to run for everyone so everyone has to just go out and buy literally gaming PCs now if they want to run Minecraft I mean it's just so insane how it's gone from a little easy game to run to this which is just mentalness right, then you're gonna want to just put two of these here then a beacon then black carpet on top you know if we did have them little like other types of lights like these but we're gonna have them still but we're just gonna use a different variety of lights and also put some jungle leaves here like so you know what we can have a bench here as well so let's get out some birch wood yeah I guess birch wood would look nice just get two birch wood seats and some signs like so and these are only like little simple benches but you know their seats outside they look nice as well like that and then we're gonna get some more of these and just dot them around like so and this is mainly just sort of like a landscaping video it's not really construction much but we need to do this because suburban houses they don't look right unless you landscape them so that is what we're doing and I'm not sure if we place by me or get rid of stuff no it won't yeah because we're just gonna place this not everywhere because we don't want everywhere we do want patches of just natural grass and it just sort of adds some grass like you would have in a proper garden so I'm gonna leave this area like trimmed because if you imagine they would like trim the front of their lawn and then just go around the outside and every now and again just place down some bone mill just like this and it just gives it that natural effect which is awesome looking Yay, so I reckon this is the tutorial done guys. I know it's been mainly a landscaping sort of lesson We've we're gonna have a car here possibly because you know There's gonna be a little garage at the end there, but this is pretty much it done I'm just gonna switch over for some better settings since I don't have to move around and you get to experience it in full-out shaders mode Hope you enjoy it well, Damn, I've got to say that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm really pleased with what we've done in this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like down below. I mean, it takes me ages to upload these videos. Quite a while to edit them just because of frap sometimes is dodgy on me. My laptop decides when it wants. It can switch itself off, which is really annoying. And yeah, so please feel free to leave a like. And by the way, guys, I've had loads of comments saying, uh, you copy Corrales. Well, Corrales was my huge inspiration to start YouTube. He still is. I mean he gives me loads of inspiration to do stuff but I don't not I don't copy him I just do tutorials and let's builds just like he does because it's one of the things that I'm good at and I've got a fan base off of it so I'm gonna continue to do it I'm not in any competition with him it's just me and him are in the same sort of like field as YouTube so just to get that clear so like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in part 5 of the tutorial thank you for watching